What up, what up, what up, guys? Uh, <clears throat> what up? Um, I hope everybody's doing good, right? Um, I just wanted to to talk about something that's really been, like, uh, bothering me a lot, right? Because it's pressure for, for us guys, right? Us gents, right? Sometimes we just feel the pressure of, like, talking about mental health, like, um, like, it's a taboo, or probably it's, like, embarrassing, like, oh, they'll call me, like, a chicken, or probably they'll think of me, like, um, you know, I don't want to use the, the words because of the, um, the TikTok uh, language uh, barrier. But, yeah, I think, guys, it's high time we started talking about the seriousness of, like, mental health because... I just noticed I had a guy that I knew personally, right? And um, he committed he committed suicide, right? Which is a very, very... And on top of that, he committed suicide on his birthday, right? Uh, which was really, really sad, right? My condolences to the family. But a lot of us guys, you know, we, we keep up this image that, oh, the guy got to be strong. He can just rely on yourself, stuff like that. You know, I don't have to let my emotions out. Like, you know, I got to be strong on my own. But by the end of the day, who are you lying to apart from yourself? Because you know deep down inside you're hurting, right? you lying to everybody. But deep down inside yourself, you, 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 you're lying. And you're just carrying the burden and the burden. To, you can't carry no more than it just busts or explodes and affects everybody, right? Like. In, for instance, talking about the family, right? What's, what a tragedy. Because I think the guy had so much potential, you know, to live for the the next generation and to carry the, the family name legacy. But I'm a condolence to the family. But most of us guys, we don't talk about it because we're too ashamed, just too embarrassed to open up. For instance, I, I'll tell you about my personal story. <clears throat> when my mom died, first mom, when my father died, right? I was young. I didn't really have, like, I didn't really have the, um, what's the right word to use? I didn't have the picture of how my father looked. I only had the pictures, like, the picture, but I didn't have the physical appearances of, like, touching and feeling how he, he looked like as a person, as a human being. But on top of that, later on, a few years later, my mom died. Um, my father died in a car crash, right? Then my mom passed without healthy um, reasons. But, you know, talking about being 13, 12, 13 years old, right? And you start carrying a lot of baggage from that young age, right? Growing up like an orphan and not knowing where to get your next meal for the next day, right? And on top of that, I carried that burden to you forever. And started playing soccer, football. Football changed my life, like, but still... I didn't have anybody to talk to. I carried that. I was hiding all that pressure, right? Till I started noticing, I started getting upset easily. You know, especially us people grown, born and grown in Africa, we don't talk about this. I specifically encourage African parents or in the African American society to talk about this deeply because we don't talk about it. We think it's being a chicken talking to people about that and just opening up about your past experience and stuff like that. But it helps talking to people, guys. It does help. It helped me personally. After I lost my brother, I just noticed that I started getting angry, like, I started getting upset, and getting mad at everybody. Like, it was really a tragedy where I felt like one time I almost punched my co worker because I didn't know that it. I, it affected me to that much, you know what I mean? So at least it's better when you open up to somebody, get a therapist, because you know sometimes we we too embarrassed to open up to somebody, but at least find somebody you're comfortable around. But for me, I personally find it very, very encouraging and very, very safe to talk to like a stranger. So most I talk to strangers a lot. So talk to a therapist, open up. I mean, you don't have to open up about everything, but just if you nice just to talk about somebody. Dear men, dear men, please, it's okay to cry. It is okay to cry. I, I was like you a few years back, you know. I always held stuff inside me. But at some point, how long can I just carry that burden, you know? The burden of family, the burden of loss, loved ones, friends, a relationship, all that stuff. You know, it's time you opened up and talked to somebody about it. It's okay to be vulnerable, it's okay to cry, it's okay to ask for a helping hand, all right? It doesn't have to be that hard or that difficult. It's better you open up 
it could be like hard at first, but once you realize that a lot of people are willing to listen to you, talk to strangers, guys, open up because we need you for tomorrow. Or we need you for the years to come. Taking yourself out is not the solution, all right? There's more, more, more to life than taking yourself out, all right? So I pledge and I beg with you guys, all right? Mental health is a serious problem in this generation, especially with social media and everything going on. It's better you open up, all right? Talk to somebody, talk to a therapist, talk to your neighbor if you feel comfortable with them, but I encourage you to find a therapist. There are free therapists out there, but yeah. It's okay for a man to cry. It's okay for a man to be vulnerable. And I'm talking from experience. I carried so much burden on me. I still carry it, but I talk to different type of people. So I'm telling you as a brother, as, as, a, as a brother, whatever, I, I got a sister. So, you know, I'm telling you as a brother, as a friend, as a colleague, whatever I can call me. We might not meet or know each other personally, but I'm just telling you gonna be all right all right you got this and you're gonna bypass this all right you gotta pray in whatever god you believe in and don't give up on yourself all right love yourself even more in times when it gets hard that's the that's the time you keep going all right i'm telling you from the bottom of my heart i experienced tragedy in my life my life hasn't been easy growing up to today but i still wake up tomorrow and thank god and go out there and still talk to people meditation has helped a lot all right and fitness going to the gym has really helped me a lot you know to put on that positive uh, mindset so i encourage you to find somebody you can talk to and open up a little bit all right the sky is not the limit all right love you guys and the world needs you the world really needs you all right pray for you you got this peace